Hi everyone, my name is Steph, welcome to my studio. This is a video in a new series I'm doing labelled The Sofa Sessions, of course, my sofa, my studio sofa. And I'm going to be talking about various things such as guitar techniques and sort of theory and general discussion about guitar playing and music in general. So today I'm going to be talking about linear pentatonics or linear pentatonic shape that I was taught many years ago, probably when I was a about 11 or 12 and I've been using it ever since. A lot of people tend to learn the shape one, which I did I think first as well, shape one minor pentatonic scale. So if you used to do that in A, it would look like that. I'm sure you all know that. Um, or position five, which I use as well. I am a big fan of both those shapes. Um, but this linear shape, which my guitar teacher back, like I say, when I was about 11 or 12, a guy called Ross Griggs, amazing guitar player, fantastic musician, very knowledgeable guy. Um, the link to his channel is in the description of this video. Check him out, great player. Um, he taught me this kind of linear shape, I want to call it linear shape, kind of diagonal shape, which kind of links the position ones together. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to play this in E. So, an E minor pentatonic scale, if you used to play it in position one, it would be open position. Okay, and this shape starts on the second note of that position, where you'd start shape two of, you know, pentatonic shapes, if you learn shape two, it's the same starting position. So we're starting on a G. Now that's the relative major to E minor anyhow, so this is kind of like playing a G major pentatonic shape. Well it is, it's not kind of, it is playing a G major pentatonic shape. So this is the shape. Um, we're starting on 3rd fret, 6th string, so a G, and then 5th fret, 6th string, A, and then 7th fret, 6th string, B, and then on the next string down, 5th fret, A string, 7th fret, A string. So 3rd fret, B string, 5th fret E string, 7th fret E string, 3, 5, 7, 5th fret A string, 7th fret A string. So you get this shape, which is a G major pentatonic shape, but because G major is the relative major to E minor, it's the same shapes, the same shapes, not the same shapes, it is. <laughs> it's the same notes as E minor shape. Um, so you can just use it over one over the other. If you don't know anything about major and relative minors, relative minors, relative majors, um, maybe I'll do another video on that at some point. But anyway, there's the first part. Then all you do is you play the same five notes again an octave higher. So we're now starting from the fifth fret D string, seventh fret D string, ninth fret D string. So the same shapes here, just an octave higher. So five, seven, nine on the D string, and then uh, seven, and nine on the G string. So it's the same shape, just moved up an octave. And then, you guessed it, we do the same thing up another octave. So we start here, eighth fret B string, 10th fret B string, 12th fret B string, then 10th fret E string, and 12th fret E string. So all together you get, oh, cold hands this morning, sorry. So you end up on this E, on the 12th fret, on the first string, which is the top of your position one for that minor pentatonic scale. So it's great, you can link up. Link up the two position ones. I've always found this a really, really useful little shape, a useful technique. And then of course you can add to it, you can add other notes that would be in that relative minor, like where, if you're here. Start adding extra notes around the outsides of it. But anyway, so that's what it is. Very simple, if you used to do it in the key of A, so let's do A minor. 
There's your A. All you would do is play position one here to find your start note. So your start note would be on the second note, so on the C if you like. The second note of the A minor pentatonic in the first position. So you would start the shape just here. So here's your position one. So you would start it here. And you would end up on the A at the top there, an octave higher in position one, or position five, whatever. So a great little kind of linear shape of pentatonics to get you from one end of the guitar to the other end of the guitar, rather than feeling like you're in a box the whole time, but yeah, it's still a pentatonic scale, it's still the notes that you know and love, um, just in a different position. So I'm hoping that's helped you um, today, if you didn't already know that, hopefully it's given you a little bit of um, another string to your bow, I suppose, a different place to play the same notes. And I've found over the years that just playing the same notes in different places on the guitar forces you to phrase things differently and think a little differently, even though it's the same bunch of notes. So try it out. Let me know what you think. So please comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. Subscribe to my channel, please. Um, there's going to be plenty more videos from the Sofa Sessions. The tabs for this video are going to be on my Instagram. So look for the little picture with the hashtag on the front of it that says Sofa Sessions number one, and you'll find the tabs to this video on my Instagram. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all soon. Cheers.